Hey folks, Susquehanna Picker here. Come along, great two yard sales. You won't believe the amount of stuff in this first yard sale. There are two possible scores I missed out on. Let me know if you can spot them towards the end of the video. And then across the street is where I find a great retro video game haul. So stay tuned, watch the pick, and I recap the retro video game haul here at the end of the video. So make sure you like and subscribe and comment below. I love to hear everybody's comments. I mean, this yard sale had so much stuff. So leave a comment. Let me know what you would have bought here. The prices were actually pretty reasonable, I thought. I just, my van was getting full, to be honest with you. Like I said in previous videos, I got a problem. We have that thinner or taller one ever storage. I remember that one. Was, was the pump up stuff like that? Uh, it, it don't, as long as it holds water, I just. It's a heavier. Oh, you want something that? heavier? Yeah, I want to use it to. Uh, on the use it for melt wax to dye uh, different Cool. That is awesome. Get your girl Batman returned. That's cool. Have they all been open? Rescue 911, Inspector Gadget. They've all been open now.
Would you do 50 on the Game Boy just because the batteries are all... I don't know if I can clean that up. Yeah, I'll go 50 on all of it. It was um, my aunt's. Um, sometimes I can clean it up with some like uh, peroxide and baking soda, but sometimes it's just beyond, yeah, <laughs> beyond repair. Yeah, I didn't open it up or anything. I just saw that was a Game Boy, but then I realized it was also a pocket. Yeah, it wasn't. It's not the original. Yeah, unfortunately. I love the handhelds. Yeah. I wish they weren't open. They'd be See, cool if they weren't so my open. My aunt has an adult son that has Down syndrome. Okay. And um, my aunt recently passed away, so her son's going to have to go to like a group home, um, and he can't take a lot of this stuff with him. And I just found all this stuff like in the closet in his bedroom, <laughs> all of it. But all the money um, is going to go to her son and stuff. Then, and uh, we're going to put it in his bank account. I wonder if the batteries are in there. Honestly, I have no idea. I saw, I did realize that they were open. And I found a couple, which I don't know where I put them, that were, that didn't have any boxes or anything. But I was like, I'm leaving the boxes there. They can see what they look like and all that kind of stuff. And batteries. Yeah. That one didn't have batteries in. Are they just like double A's or what are they? Yeah, they're double A, but when you leave them in there, they corrode. Gotcha. and just ruins the electronics out of them. Gotcha. Yeah, the only thing I did was look on eBay and saw what they were kind of going for. Some were hard to find. Yeah, I, that's what I was, I buy and resell. That's, that, this is what they're asking. Yeah. 30 is what they're asking. That's not what they're selling for, but, um. The Home Alone, I could not find the original Home Alone 1. All of the ones I saw like on eBay were Home Alone 2s. I think it's open at the very bottom. Yeah. Half the time they don't work anyway. That one, see that one says battery, but it's not, it's starting corrosion, but it's not, so not as bad as that out? Game Boy. Yeah, yeah, I would take them out. Okay. Um, you gotta wash your hands and everything else because it's just acid. So what do you got here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I think I have them all out now. I'd really be in for 70. That's ten dollars a piece because I think I might be able to get 15 to 20 out of them a piece, but if you're looking to sell them all. It looks like a swatch, but it's not. There's eight of them, right? Uh, I'm not interested in Wheel of Fortune. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, see, like the Batman Returns. That's when it's green is what it actually sells for. So this is yeah, 18, I, I 18. Went up to, yeah. And I have 15 on it. Yeah, there's one in the pack for $12.95. That was actually Batman Returns. Yeah, there's two of them. Batman Forever and Batman Returns. Batman Returns was going for, or Batman Forever was going for more. I'd do Hi, 10 on this one. I'd do 10 on the mini golf. I'd do 10 on the 911. Batman Returns, I'd do 10 on. And you said you didn't want the wheel of fortune? No. Yeah. I do 10 on those. Oh, I love Would you do... That's my, that's my stress. That one's a little filthy. That's why I'm a little leery about that one. Gotcha. Would you do 15 and 20? One of these. So 15, 30. Yeah, 35 yeah. on those. Then 10 a piece on those. It is. Yeah, so 15 and you said 20. 20. So that would be 45 for both. That's right. right? 35. 20, 30, and yeah, 35. 45, 55, 65, 75. And then you're at the Game Boy. Yeah, which is 50, 50. what, one, I'm sorry, it's so early for math, one, one 20, 125, something yeah. like that? Yeah, something like that. I'd do that. Okay. 
You have a bag? Yeah, I have a bunch of bags here. I have to take these. Hey everybody, Susquehanna Picker here. Just got back from some yard sales and what a morning it was. Found this awesome retro video game haul including some Tiger electronic handheld pocket games. So let's go through the haul. I paid $125 for everything. And we'll start with the Game Boy. Nintendo Game Boy case, the Game Boy Pocket. Has some corrosion, I believe I can clean it up. There's some manuals there including Super Mario Land, Donkey Kong and Donkey Kong Land. And we have Donkey Kong for the Game Boy. Donkey Kong Land for the Game Boy. Can't forget Pac-Man. Star Wars, Home Alone, Tetris, Super Mario Land, and Indiana Jones, and of course, Paperboy. Now the Tiger Pocket Games handhelds, they're not new, but they do have the instruction manuals and the whatever, blister packs, if you wanna call them. So let's go through those. We have Batman Double Dose of Doom. That's Batman Forever. Then we have Batman Returns. Rescue 911. Remember that show? That was a classic. I remember watching that back in the day. Let me flip that around here so you can actually see the game. And moving up to the top row, we have Electronic Miniature Golf. The colors on that is great, folks. The Inspector Gadget, the orange and the blue really make it pop. Actually, I, don't, I hope that does work. I kind of am interested in playing that one. And, of course, Paperboy 2. So, I actually paid $125 for all of this. Let me know what you think. If you would have grabbed it up, it's a lot. It's a lot of games there for $125. So, leave in the comments below what you would have paid, or if you would have passed it up, or if you would have haggled a lower deal. Interested to know. Like I always say, picking ain't easy, or is it?